enjoy cars, I love cars, but, but I just like to take it easy. I don't like to appreciate and respect the power rather than abuse it and and ruin it, you know. I don't really want to do that. I don't want to make that mistake. And the reason, what well, the thing I'm getting to anyway, the point that I'm trying to get to make, that I really want to touch on today is this road that I'm on right now, a friend of ours, well when I say ours, I say mine and, and the guys at Indigo Residential. Um, was on this very road a couple of years ago and he was driving an Audi R8 which is again a very high performance fast car um, nobody knows quite or exactly what happened but in a nutshell he lost his life okay now I'm not saying for one second that he was driving like an idiot because like I said none of us know now recently I've done a, a series of videos on on a lad called Stephen, the campaign was called Help Stephen Please. Again, a lad that liked cars, um, he had a terrible accident which left, left him paralyzed, left him so badly brain damaged that he was paralyzed. I went to Stephen's funeral last month and it hurt, you know. I know we all love cars and I know we all like, we like to drive fast and I'm, I'm, I'm one of them as well. Don't get me wrong, you watch me through the cameras all the time. I like to put power down to the ground, but what I really want to stress is, if you're having a little race with someone on the road or you're driving like a bit of an idiot, you know full well when you're driving like an idiot. Just consider that it might go wrong. Don't let pride get the better of you. Just hold back, you know, you know the power of your car. You know if your car can beat that other car. Don't try and prove anyone wrong because you could be throwing your life away by doing it. Um, but like I say, it was this road, it was actually this very roundabout that Mark lost his life. It's, there's some flowers there. Mark Davey from Luton. I'm very, very proud to be from Luton. I love the town. If someone's asked me where I'm from, I'm proud to jump at the fact to say that I'm from Luton and I love it. Mark Davey, he was an exceptional person. He had a lot of love for a lot of people and almost every funeral I've ever been to, people say, this person changed the atmosphere of the room. Now, most people do that, but I'm telling you now, Mark Davey, he drastically changed the atmosphere of the room. That guy was exceptional. He was an unreal personality. He was a big part of the building and the growing of Indigo Residential. I didn't mention either that he was actually one of the partners of Indigo Residential. And he went to the same school as me, as friends of my older brothers, and I just really want to get across in a video, and I'm sorry that I've gone on a little bit, that I just really want everyone to consider that when they're driving like a lunatic, because I know, like I said, we all do it, but just take it careful and enjoy it. You know, you can enjoy power, like McLaren 570 GT, stupidly powerful car. There's the power. There is a speed camera there, so I'm gonna to have to let off the power. Just enjoy it. You can enjoy it without being an idiot. You can enjoy it without risking your life. Enjoy the power, enjoy the moment, and enjoy your car. But don't, don't get, let pride get the better of you, all right? Sorry to go off subject there a little bit. I don't want to bring the vibe of the video down, but I am going to remind you, Mark David was a great guy, and it was, honestly, he, he touched the hearts of many, many people. Trust me, like my family, it broke all of our hearts knowing that what happened to him. And I don't want to see that happen to any of you lot, all right? So just consider that.